Okay, I got to disconnect the um, EGR connector first, and then I need to disconnect the ignition uh, coil from this. So it just pulls straight off like that. And it pulls off. Now, uh, now I need to pull off the ignition um, coil by integrating these bolts here one and two there's one more eh, three behind right there that I need to get so okay so now I just uh, connected the uh, ignition coil took off the uh, plug on the bottom right here and remove this so this from here comes off here now that opens up uh, more room for me to pull this uh, EGR unit out and I need to connect a 16 hose from it and basically pull this thing out so I got some a few uh, screws to get at pretty deep in there um, but I need an extension uh, for the wrench so I pulled the um, the EGR unit this is the EGR unit I pulled it out from there and I unplugged the hose which goes through there. So that space right there, see all the gunk? That's pretty dirty. This is what I need to clean. I don't even see. I gotta get that gasket off, gasket off as well and replace that. But this here is all dirt. It's, it's actually clogged. Okay. Okay. So I got this. Uh, the EGR. Um, what this does, I think this is the exhaust part and this is the um, intake uh, hole. Uh, there's this little knob right there that actually goes up and down, um, but it doesn't um, move unless there's pressure. So I got this pressure gun here. I'm gonna stick it into the where the hose goes to create a little vacuum. And what that's gonna do is gonna lift that little knob okay and now I can actually spray some carb choke in there to help clean that out so that just uh, melts off I see how that, see that melt Okay, so um, I pulled the fuel rain, uh, rail out of the way, so this is all free now. Um, there it is, right here, that it basically sits back like that. I pulled it up, and I can't fully pull it out, It's you don't want to do that. Um, and you can see my little contraption here, it is a jump rope that I tie it over to um, hold that thing up so that it gives me enough room to tap into these six ports that I need to pull So out. the next job is to drill into the ports which I'm doing here and as I'm doing it down it's creating some shavings in which I need to vacuum so that it doesn't get into any of the crevices or holes or into the intake manifold so I will do that for all the other six, but I'll go one by one. Okay, um, I just pulled out the the plugs. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see. I'm cleaning the ports with this little wire cleaner that I took from my nephew when he used to clean his bottles. It's a great way. I clean that, spray the gunk out. 
put that in there. Look at all that dirt. 